Hello, this is Kyron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes and please leave what does not. Okay. Aries ninth house north node hmm north node this is definitely where somebody is headed somebody I feel like somebody is going to be a leader in some type of spirituality or religion or you're going to be the top of something Aries is like the head that's the first sign they're very headstrong they're very, they got a lot of Mars energy. As a matter of fact, they are ruled by Mars, okay? The ninth house is about spirituality, higher learning. Well, religion, I should say, like the rules, the traditions, the things that have been around, the things that have worked for, you know, period of time. Somebody is about to learn the ways, okay? Or somebody is, is about to embark on a, a journey of higher learning like let's say if you want to go for a higher degree or something like that but somebody is about to be the head of it though like somebody is headed for something and somebody is very sure about it also somebody is very sure about it somebody is about to have like somebody i'm like stumbling somebody's about to be very strong when it comes to religion or spirituality they're about to be very strong okay Somebody here that knows their stuff, okay? Somebody here that shines when it comes to communicating it, I believe. I mean, communicating it, obviously, to other people. Okay. So we got the Magician card to come out here. And what's at the bottom? We have the Ace of Cups here. Now, let's see what this is that fell out on the floor. Wow. This is the Queen of Swords here, okay? But this is somebody, and I usually don't even get two of these, but this is somebody that is going to bring something new to a field. Like they're gonna bring something new to something that was already studied or it was already, it was already something that's out into the world, but they're like someone is going to perfect it or somebody is going to be a leader at it okay this is like somebody that can possibly write books or something like that this is somebody probably involved in the law in some kind of way this is definitely going to school for law or if you want to be a judge or something like that this is who you are somebody's meant to be the head of some type of structure of some type of rules okay that's where somebody is headed here and somebody may even change certain laws but you got to get in the door first, okay? Maybe that's why this reading is happening like this. Like there's certain things maybe you want to change. If you want to change those things, maybe you need to go into that career. Maybe that's what spirit is showing you. Maybe spirit is showing you where you fit in, where you're meant to be, what you're meant to do. You'll be surprised. God's vision, like when God gives you a vision, it'll take you all the way to the end of your life. That's how powerful it is. OK, and if you see that you want to change something, you have to go by the structure. You got to go by the rules. If you want to change something about a business, why don't you go and work for that business? Or why don't you go find that, that learn the ins and outs of certain things? Why don't you go to school for business? Why don't you, if you want to change laws? Why don't you go to school for laws? If you want people to get fair cases, why don't you go to school for law? OK. Like there's something here. It could even be something with police officer, okay, or detective. You know, there's different level of police officer. It's something here. You got the Ace of Wands. This is a doorway for somebody. This is who somebody is. This is like that spark of energy God is giving. God is giving somebody the energy to do something or to be somebody, okay? This is spiritual, 
there's a reason why you have to do this. It's not just like if you're interested in this, that's good. That's great. That's that's absolutely everything. Right. But it's one thing to be interested in something and it's a whole nother thing for it to be your purpose. OK, we have we as human, we have a lot of interest in this world. right? We have hobbies. We have things that we like to do. But there is something that you are meant to do. OK, and everything else compared to that would be kind of like a hobby. OK, you have a purpose here. OK, you may not know what it is. You may not know how far you're going to go or how far you're meant to go, but it has to start somewhere. You got to start at the bottom. You got to start so that you can change things. There's people that don't get to change things until they're well off in their 60s, 70s and 80s sometimes. But if that's the that's that's the vision that God put in on you, you're either going to be the person that changes things or you're going to be the person that's just subject to whatever happens in this world. I'm even getting strong government energy. OK, I could shit. the next president could be looking at this video right now. The next president. And it could be president of any country. It's not just America. But somebody here is headed towards some type of laws or something like that. It's definitely higher learning here. You got the magician on top of the magician. <laughs> you got the magician on top of the magician. This is something that spirit will spirit will help you with. You will be supplied with what you need. You will have what you need when you need it. As long as you're on this right path, things will fall into place for you. It'll be like magic for somebody. Like people will literally be like, this person has to be blessed. They got to be lucky. It's some like when you're doing what you're meant to do, you amazing things happen. Amazing things happen when you when you get in line with what you're supposed to do. OK. And we got the nine of wands. This is spiritual strength here spiritual strength somebody has to because it, it seems to me that it went from the the ace of wands which is one and it went to the nine okay and when you add that that's ten this is somebody it's, it's like you have to learn from a to z what it is that you need to learn in order to change what you need to change you can't go how can i say if you want to change laws you have to know the laws you have to know what's already out there if you want to change something about anything, you have to know what's already out there. Even if it's about religion, even if it's about spirituality, you must know what is already out there. Okay? You may not even know that this is what you're going to do, but this is what you're going to do. Somebody here is meant to go into a structure so that they can learn the structure, so that they can see what's wrong with the structure, so that they can change the structure. Somebody's going to be a boss, like a boss boss. Okay? That person that when they say something... They mean it. I really feel like somebody is going to be very reliable. I feel like somebody is cut out for this. Okay. Usually there's a lot of people that go into government that I hate to say it, but I don't want to say it like this. I don't want to sound rude, but there are a lot of them that can't be trusted. Okay. I'm just saying, I hate to say it like that. It's not everybody. It's not everybody. And that's in the whole entire world. It's not everybody, but the ones that do mess it up, it makes it bad for everybody. It makes it hard for everybody. That's not who I'm seeing here. I'm seeing somebody that's cut out to do this. Whatever it is that you're going to do, you're cut out to do it. At the bottom, you have the King of Wands. Can't even make it up. It went from the Ace of Wands to the Magician to the Nine of Wands. Okay, like this information is going to be natural to you. This power is going to come easy to you. You're going to know how to to use this power properly okay and i really think this has to do with somebody's voice somebody has a special voice they have a special mind they have a special ability like somebody's going to change something about the laws i don't care what nobody say this is the this is aries in the ninth house and the north node is there somebody is going to change something about the laws somebody's going to be very headstrong and they're going to be right about this okay and nobody's going to be able to stop this because this is what they are meant to do. Even if you have struggles, this is what you're meant to do. And you got to keep moving forward. Please, is this the third magician already? You, spirit. 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 I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills down my back. 
We have three magician cards here. Three. Never had three magician cards here. This early in the reading, I've never had the magician card three times in three different decks. Wow. Somebody here has a power of word, and it's not a game. Somebody has the power of word. When somebody says something, when somebody speaks, this is why somebody has to harness this power. You gotta harness this power. You gotta know how to yield. You gotta know how to use this power, okay? Wield it. You gotta know how. You gotta know how. You gotta know why you're doing this. You gotta know the vision. You gotta you may not be able to see the whole entire vision, but you have to hold on. And you if if God is pushing you this direction, you gotta trust. You gotta trust. Like you have to put in the work. You can't just be that type of person where it's just like, oh, it takes 10 years to be a doctor. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, because it takes 10 years. Not because of anything else. Don't do that. Okay? Put in that hard work. It is your vision here. Okay? And you have to you have to conquer the first part before spirit can show you the next part, right? You got to do algebra one before you do algebra two. Like, you may not be able to see the vision, but you need to go in. Like, I feel like somebody thinks they're going to go into law and they're like, oh... I'm just going to be a boring old lawyer. I'm never going to make it nowhere. I'm never going to do this, never going to do that. And it's not that. Spirit has a vision for you. Spirit has a plan for you. But you have to do the first things. Okay? You have to... You got to lay the foundation. Okay? You might not be aware of everything right now. But you will be aware. Okay? Yes, there will be competition, of course. But this is what's going to show you your unique strength. You have a unique strength about you and it wants to come out. But the only way it can come out is if you put yourself in those places, right? Like if you put yourself, I keep saying law school. I'm just really strongly getting something about law or the laws of something. Somebody is going to change that. That's why somebody's going into a profession. Somebody's going into a profession. Okay, let's say it was entertainment. You know how there's a lot of crooked ass people in entertainment? And it's not all people, right? Like, I'm getting on everybody today. There's a lot of crooked ass people everywhere, okay? Okay? But you're not one of them. And that's why you got to make it where you got to make it. So that you can be the per You can be a doorway. Somebody's going to be a gatekeeper. What's at the bottom here? Another Ace of Wands. With the King of Wands. Somebody's going to be a gatekeeper. And I ain't lying. The way these are coming out, this is scary to me. And I'm never scared in a reading, but this is this is beautiful and scary the way that this is coming out. Okay, because it's very, very deep. I don't know where somebody is in this timeline because you could be at the beginning where you think that you're weak, you think you're insignificant, you think your voice doesn't matter. You could be there or you could be in the middle of the storm right now wondering what the hell is going on, why am I doing this, why did I go into this, what is, like, I'm telling you, somebody's going to be a gatekeeper one day in what you're going into. And you're going to be, we need these people. We need the gatekeepers to be the people that are not con artists and they're not trying to get something from you. And they're not trying to sexually manipulate you and shit like that. Yeah, that kind of shit. We need people in those high places. We need the real ones. Okay. And the real ones are coming to the earth. Okay, but they are being deterred by what they're currently seeing. Okay, and that's how you know that that's where you need to go because you see there's something wrong with that. And if you have a strong passion towards it, whether it's the government, whether it's law, whether it's entertainment, I don't care what it is. If you have a strong passion towards it, you might have a passion towards it for other reasons than you realize. You might have a passion towards it so that you can change the ways of it, okay? It might be so much bigger than you, okay? It might be so much bigger than you. Another King of Wands. <sighs> you getting all these doubles, triples. I mean, you got the King of Wands here. You got the King of Wands here. Clearly, this is talking about the same person. Like, Spirit wants you to know. Spirit is here with us. 
Okay, spirit wants you to know who you are and how important you are that you do this. You will be a king or a queen of what you do. Okay, you need to follow this path. This is who you are. This is part of who you are. This is everything you are. This is why you were brought to this earth so that you can be a gatekeeper. So you, you can you can bump these fake asses out the way and you can stand there as a true gatekeeper. Okay. Not somebody that's trying to manipulate. Not somebody that's like, oh, if you don't do this for me, then I can't do this. Somebody that truly will abide by the laws and uphold it. Aries is also emperor. Okay? Emperor here. The ninth house is the house of Sagittarius. Man, somebody is meant to be like a ruler. Okay? Okay? An ace of cups here. You got the ace of cups here. You got the ace of cups here. How many more doubles do you need? This is who you are. It's in line with your soul. If it affects you emotionally in some kind of way, it must be a passion. It must be a passion. If it is a passion, that is an indication. That's the direction you're supposed to go. You might not know exactly why you're going that way, but it is healing you. It's healing you in the ways that you need to be healed. You don't know how you need to be healed. Spirit knows how you need to be healed. But nothing comes without hard work. 16, 16 on the clock. Nothing comes without hard work. And I got a confirmation on my phone. And we got another Ace of Wands. We got three Ace of Wands. These, at this point, and I got another confirmation. At this point, these are not even chills no more. This is like, I feel like Spirit is cloaking me. I, I feel like Spirit is literally like, like that feeling of something just coming over you and just like hugging you. I feel it. I feel it. Because you got three Ace of Wands here. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Three Magicians. Magician. Magician. Magician back here. Two Ace of Cups. Two King of Wands. I mean, it's undeniable. It's undeniable for somebody. And what's at the bottom? Two of Pentacles. Okay bringing this into balance and you know for the two of pentacles to come out sideways like this i actually like this okay because it's like somebody just needs to somebody needs to realize that this is part of them this is part of the change that they need to make and it would be a lot easier if somebody just acknowledge that this is who they are and this is what they want to do and even if you don't know where it's going to lead and what you're going to have to go through the, to like just go with it if it is your passion don't be scared don't be deterred by let's say people in your family don't be deterred by friends okay or old friends don't even be deterred by relationships if something is within you i don't care what it is you have to go pursue it you have to this is for your healing okay and then it's going to be something that's bigger than you. I see somebody being a gatekeeper. It's going to be something way bigger. We have the four pinnacles here. I don't feel like nobody will be able to take you out of your position. Okay? I feel like something is, is going to be completely solid. Somebody's going to have that security here that they want. Okay? But it's just that you have to answer this call. You got the ace of pinnacles here. It's an opportunity. It's like I feel like somebody may be stuck at maybe another job. Maybe they feel like, okay, this is a stable job, so I'm just going to stay here. Yeah, stay at that stable job until you get through whatever you're trying to get through. But there's a harmonious, there's a change that has to happen. With this two of pentacles out here sideways, there's a shift that has to happen. And maybe, yeah, you have to keep something old until you can get this new thing. Maybe that is how it is. Okay. But don't sit there and say that this is the best that you can do and this is the furthest that you can go because that's not everybody. Don't miss this opportunity here. Knight of Swords here. This is what you should be going towards. This is what you should be fighting for. Okay? This is what you should be... You should be driven towards this. It'll be an opportunity from above. Okay? It'll be an opportunity from above. This is like somebody... They don't know they can have so much greater, okay? And I think there's, there's people that say nobody can block you and nothing can block you. 
Okay, there are people that say that, and I'm here to tell you, yes, there are people and things that can block you. Because spirit is not worried about time. Time doesn't matter. Okay, spirit will say, spirit will tell you something, let's say, when you're like 30, okay? Now, if you choose to ignore it or if you choose not to go that way, spirit is still waiting because time is an illusion. You could be 80 years old, okay? It could have took you 50 years to get it together and spirit will still be there to open that door. But it, there are things that block you. There are decisions that can block you. There are choices that you have to make. And if you make the wrong decision, you can be blocked. Everything is not correct. If you are not going towards light, if you are not going towards truth, if you are not going towards honesty, you are going the wrong way. It's an indication, okay? Now, sometimes you have to walk towards fear. Sometimes doing the right thing is associated with fear because there's a lot of people in this world that won't do the right thing. So sometimes you'd be scared to go this direction because of fear and you think it's your intuition telling you that you can't do it. Whole time it's just the fear of judgment or the fear of whatever everybody else is going to think. But that's not going to get you nowhere. Truth, honesty, okay? Love, healing. That's the direction that you need to go. Fear is a non-factor. I was about to say non-motherfucking factor, but it's a non-factor, okay? Fear is a non-factor. Courage is when you do something, even when you're scared, you do what you need to do. That's courage. And that's what somebody needs to have because you are going to be a gatekeeper one day. divine timing and I got a confirmation over there divine timing but you're the one that has to make the steps you're the one that has to move forward you're the one that has to realize this is where you're being guided and it will all make sense when it's meant to make sense and I'm gonna leave it right there if you like the way that I read please like share and subscribe thank you so much for your like shares and subscribes I really really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.